Terry Gore was passed over by the main opposition party, the KMT, as their presidential candidate. Is he still going to stand, though, do you think? So Go is interesting because his position is that of being a pan-blue outsider. He rejoined the KMT, for example, to run uh, to seek the KMT's 2020 nomination. And then when he did not secure it, he left again and he has again rejoined the party. But then because he did not get it again, now there's speculation he might run as an independent. And that has been a uh, possibility floating around the last decade, effectively, of Taiwanese politics, that he could potentially run as an independent. As one of Taiwan's wealthiest men, he could finance his own run. But political ambitions by Go are not new. They go back more than 10 years. And so for a long time, he was angling to try to become the presidential candidate of the KMT. Or if he doesn't do that, again, he could potentially be an independent, a potential spoiler. Terry Gore is the founder of Foxconn, a well-known Apple supplier. He has a load of investments in China. Why would he want to be the president of Taiwan? I mean, I think there are various uh, speculated motives. One is just nationalism, that he does identify with China, and that he sees perhaps economic relations with China as the way to maintain some kind of stable, cross-strait outlook. But then there's also speculation that perhaps this is for the sake of his businesses, that he wants to maintain the set of relations with China because of the fact that this would benefit himself. And so it's really hard to say there. But uh, his attempts to get beyond just being a businessman and enter politics have been longstanding. His name was floated much more when, for example, Donald Trump became the president of the U.S. because there was a notion that businessmen were entering politics uh, in a kind of populist faction, drawing on populist movements. And Go is sometimes understood similarly in Taiwan. If Terry Gore does stand for president, how do you think the public will react to him? But then as the rally over the weekend showed, he's actually more popular among Pan Blue young people than the KMT candidate is. He was cheered and Hoyoi, the KMT candidate, was booed by the group of Pan Blue young people that were present at the rally. But then he's thought to kind of downplay his uh, investments in China, his role in China. For example, stating in Taiwan that, well, Taiwan should perhaps think about not being so economically reliant on China. So I think we'll see much more political back and forth. It might be hard to pick out clear positions by him in the uh, election cycle.